Hello, guys. Woo! How about the second generation Eisman? Awesome. Hey, Burl. Come on up, buddy. Yeah, come on up. Ladies and gentlemen, Burl Eisman. The elders of the Eisman. And we have Tom Eisman coming on up here, buddy. Come on up. How you doing? Are you guys having a good time tonight? Yeah? All right. Come on up, let go, let go. <laughs> I want to, first of all, personally say thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. You know, we have some very special guests tonight. Um, there are two kids. Before, they weren't able to hear. And because of everybody here tonight, these kids can now hear. And um, the theme to this, to this concert tonight is called Bringing Music to Your Ears. Would you like to meet these little kids that can now hear? Yeah? Let's bring them on up here. Hendrick, come on up here. This is, okay, right here, this is Hendrick. He is 10 months old. Can you believe that? Look at that. Look how cute he is. Hi. How you doing? Yeah, he's so cute. It's, a, it's amazing. This is his mom. You want to say something real quick? We just want to thank everybody for giving Hendrick the gift of hearing. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. Over here we have Marla Ray, right? You want to say something real quick? I'd like to thank everyone for coming and my hearing center for my hearing aids. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Thank you, everybody. These two little kids may have a hearing loss, but that hearing loss no longer has them. Thanks to everybody here tonight. From the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate that. And also, Malloway mentioned My Hearing Centers. They are a wonderful hearing aid company, and they've helped us. Um, in fact, let's, let's bring up, I want to introduce them. This is Ryan Batcher. He's the owner of My Hearing Centers. Thank you, Ryan. And we have uh, the audiologist over here, Jen and Amanda. Okay. Uh, Nikki and Amanda, I'm sorry. Okay. And we have a very special presentation. Uh, again, all of our sponsors, uh, that Mark mentioned earlier tonight, thank you, uh, on top of everything else for making this happen. But I also want to uh, mention Walgreens here. This is Nick. How you doing, buddy? He, um, all of the volunteers here tonight have been provided by Walgreens. Thank you guys so much. But he also has a very special presentation tonight. You got to realize uh, deaf children um, and, and people that can't hear, that wear hearing aids, they need to have batteries, right? It's like the air that they breathe. Well, Walgreens has a very special presentation tonight. They're going to provide a year's supply of batteries to each one of these kids. So thank you, Walgreens. We appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Oh, Tracy Miller. Is Tracy Miller here? Come on here, Tracy. She is another member of the Eisman family that also wears hearing aids. I need to recognize her as well. Tracy, come on up here. Let's give her a warm welcome. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, Verl and Tom, come on up here real quickly, okay? Um, before we go any further, I want, I want Ryan, would you say a few words? Is that okay? This is Ryan from My Hearing Center. Well, it's my pleasure to be here tonight. We're uh, just so grateful to be uh, partnered with the Osmond Foundation. This is a, uh, an amazing experience for us to be able to work with these two wonderful kids. Can we give them another round of applause, these two? Now, I think, uh, I think Hendrick wanted to say something. Uh-huh. Translation, it's awesome. <laughs> All right, I need to ask two questions. How many of you here tonight, don't be, don't be shy or bashful, have a hearing loss? Raise a hand. That's quite a few. Another question, how many of you have hearing loss that haven't admitted it yet? 
Well, it just so happens that we can help you with that. <laughs> we have a booth over here. If any of you want a hearing test, you know, because tonight after the Osmond brothers come out and blow your ears out, <laughs> you can come right in. You can see us a booth over here. We've got free hearing exams for you. Get a little card. There's a few left. We're grateful to be here, and uh, we hope you have a wonderful evening. All right, I know you guys are anxious to see the Osmond brothers. Yeah? Well, we'll get the show started, but I want to mention a couple more things. Um, we have about 50 uh, wonderful deaf and hard of hearing people right over here on the right-hand side. I want them to know we love you. We support you guys. Thank you guys for coming. I also, as you, as you just heard, Mark kind of gave a history about how the Osmonds really got started. They started singing and performing so they could raise money to buy hearing aids for our two deaf brothers, uh, Verl and Tom. And uh, really, these two guys right here, how it all got started. And uh, if it's okay, I'd like Burl to say something, if that's okay. Can I sign? Yeah. Oh. I just wanted to say uh, how thankful I am to be a part of this great family. And uh, looking back over the years, my mother was right about something. Give a child their hearing early in life so that they can acquire language acquisition. So important to put hearing aids on little children. But unfortunately, hearing aids are expensive. And that's what we're doing. We're fulfilling our mother's dream. Thank you for being with us tonight. We love you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the gift of hearing because I'm hearing impaired myself. It's so much appreciated that I have the hearing aid to help hear the music and the way it gives to my soul and because of you, <laughs> because of you, it is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for the gift of hearing. Wow, wow. Okay, thank you for your advice. Here I want to say, quote, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to express, express my appreciation for my mother that she helped me to learn to talk. Oh, as though she fulfilled her dream to help participate in the deaf people not be left out, get involved. I'm so excited about our spirituality and your enthusiasm to fulfill my mother's dream. I would say back to him, quote, thank you. Okay, you guys, are you ready? All right. Just know we're a little bit of country and we're a little bit of rock and roll, but we're a little bit of helping people here. Thank you guys so much for coming to help us out. What we're gonna do now is, um, yes, we have a very special presentation. You just saw Nathan and his brothers just rock the place out. Nathan, bless his heart. Come on up here, buddy. He, uh, he wrote a very special song and uh, dedicated it to, uh, to the foundation. You want to tell us a little bit about, about the song that you just wrote for us? Yeah, you bet. Uh, by the way, one more hand for Justin Osmond, who's pulled this all together. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> sure proud of this young man. I asked Justin, do you guys have a theme song for your foundation? He said, no. I said, would you like one? He said, yeah. So we wrote one that very same day. And right now we like to go ahead and perform this. You'll see some images up here. And this is what this whole cause here tonight is for, is to help to bring music to the ears of some incredible people like Molly Ray and, and Hendrick up here. So I'd like to dedicate it to them and to all of our special friends here tonight. Let's go ahead and roll that. heard your mother's voice never heard the crashing waves upon a sandy beach but things are all about to change just see the people gathered round tonight you receive the gift of
of your own name and a baby crying down the hall and a song playing on the radio well, you will never be the same your family and friends are gathered Thank you so 